Hey everyone, welcome to an episode of the Elixir Foundation series. In this episode right here, we're going to actually be generating our project, our Elixir project. And we're going to use a tool called Mix. And Mix is kind of like the de facto standard tool uh, when you're working with an Elixir project. So whether you're running tests or generating a project or uh, running just basic commands, uh, CLI commands with Elixir, you're going to be using Mix. So let's get familiar with it and generate a project with it. Um, so over here, I have uh, kind of like an empty um, empty project. So let me start uh, by cleaning up my workspace a little bit. So right now I'm in the the, you know, the directory for my organization, Codemy. Uh, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and generate a new project. But I'm going to generate two projects. I'm going to talk a little bit about the difference between the two of them. So the first project I'm going to generate is called uh, Botlib. And basically it's just going to be a library um, that, you know, is going to, you know, you know, I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit about why, what's the difference between a library and an application uh, in Elixir. So let's go ahead and generate the project. So mix new uh, bot lib. So this is going to be the lib. And I'm going to add this project to my workspace over here. Bot lib here. So in Elixir, we have two kinds of uh, projects we can generate. Well, actually three, but we're not going to get into the third one just yet. Um, this one here is just uh, modules, right? So in Elixir, you can have projects that are just, you know, a com like a, a, a combination or, a, you know, a, a mix of, uh, you know, functions and modules that uh, are helpful, like that you can then use in other projects. Um, but if you want to uh, create something, you probably want to generate an application. And to generate an application, you need to work with supervision, supervision trees. Now we'll talk about supervision trees later down the line, but for now, let's go ahead and generate another project. So I'm going to do mix new uh, bot tfo hyphen hyphen sup. So sup stands for a supervisor. And I'm going to go ahead and generate that. And then I'm going to add that project and then we're going to look at the difference between the two of them. Uh, so here I'm going to go uh, add botiful to here. So bot, the bot lib is up here and botiful is down here. So we'll see if we go into the lib directory, we'll see very clearly what the difference is. So you see bot lib is just got like a lib and then it's got the, the, the lib file. Now we can convert this into uh, an application just like the one below, but it's extra work we have to do. So if we use the right command, you know, it saves us a bit of time. Um, so essentially, you know, what this is, it's not going to run our code as an application. It's just, it's just modules. Like it's just a combination of a few functions that we would write. So what we, we don't want to use the bot lib in this uh, project. I just did it to show you guys what the difference is. Like, you know, most people just mix new and then type the application like you would in like something like Ruby and then you would have uh, an empty project that you can start off with. Uh, in our case, Elixir is a little bit different because it's got this concept of supervisions and all that stuff. Uh, so I'm going to remove botlib and then we're going to explore the botifo project structure. So here we'll see that, you know, it actually starts our application here. So it says botifo, uh, botifo application. So what does that mean? Well, let's take a look at the application. So this here is what I'm talking about when I say, when I'm saying supervision tree, we have this botifo supervisor that is basically going to run our application. Um, and this is kind of like the, the starting point for an Elixir OTP application. Um, you know, Elixir applications act kind of like, you know, they're kind of like an, they're, they're OS, like it runs on the Beam VM. So it's like the Beam VM is like an OS, like think of it like a, you know, an, a, a stripped down version of an operating system. It can manage processes. You can have, you can create these programmable processes that can communicate with each other. And that's what makes it so powerful. And that's what makes it, you know, able to actually, you know, use all the cores because each process, um, you know, can use its own core. It will have a scheduler inside the Beam VM that will allow it to kind of like, you know, run asynchronously to each other. Um, where in other programming languages like Node or Ruby, you would have to create an actual real OS process, which means it takes extra RAM. Uh, so, uh, pr that goes with, with the saying that, you know, the processes in Elixir are very low overhead, like compared to something like Ruby, like if you have a Rails app, you know, you could easily eat up, you know, 100 meg, 120 megs, just, you know, generating a new Rails app. Um, but, you know, if 
you would do that in Elixir, it would not be, you know, in order to take advantage of multi-core, you wouldn't need to run a new Elixir process, like your application process. You would just use the same process and you would just create a new process inside of your application uh, to do asynchronous processing. And it would just take an extra, I don't know, like a few kilobytes of RAM uh, when you start that process inside of the BMBM. So that's kind of like, you know, the, the real advantage. And, you know, this whole OTP and gen server and uh, supervisors and workers and whatnot is kind of like the deal. It's kind of like the main thing behind this whole thing. So uh, how, does, how does one run an application uh, in Elixir? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, Botiful app here. So we have a hello world uh, function here. Uh, that we can call. So let's go ahead and call it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do cd botiful and I'm going to call iexs mix hyphen s mix and basically what this is going to do is going to load our project and you know so now what we can do is botiful dot hello and it gives us world and that's kind of like the most basic uh, I guess you know we got to do the hello world it's compulsory um, you know, thing in Elixir applications. So I want to show you guys one more cool thing. So I'm going to run Observer. So I wasn't kidding when I said that it was like a real uh, OS. So this is kind of like, you know, top, if you will, for Elixir. And you can kind of see um, how your application is structured. You can, you can really see like how cool this is. You can see, you know, how um, the hierarchy is between the processes. So you have this process here and then you have your actual um, Botiful supervisor that we saw before in the code. Um, so, and, and this is kind of like the process list. So that we've got the logger, the kernel. The kernel is kind of like the low level, you know, basic, um, you know, everything. Like, you know, you use it for all kinds of functions. And we'll explore all this later uh, down the line as well. And then we have actually process. So this is actually top. You can see memory usage and, you know, all that stuff. So, um, you know, which ports it's uh, it's taking or whatever. So yeah, the Beam VM is kind of like an OS. So running Beam inside of a, something like Ubuntu is like an OS within an OS. And that's what really makes it super, super powerful. Um, so it's getting a little bit long. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause it here for this episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, share it with your friends and family. This is going to be something for members only. Um, so yeah. And uh, until next episode... Uh, I will leave you guys to it to explore Elixir on your own, generate a new project, try it out, run Observer Start, see what happens, get curious, right? That's that's what I really want to uh, what I really want to do for you guys for you guys to get curious. Um, so yeah, with that, I want to wrap up this episode. I want to thank you guys for becoming a member, um, and it's you know you guys uh, support is what keeps us going. Uh, so with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Mm -hmm.